Hi everybody, Tyler here with uh, Point Defiance Pottery. Our fountain is finally done. Came out awesome, didn't explode. I'm very happy about that. Um, so a lot of people wanted to see how I'm actually gonna put the fountain together. It's my first time doing this. I'm just kind of shooting in the dark here. So I'll show you kind of what I came up with. Allison's right behind you. And uh, you know, this is the pump that I'm putting in right now. It's made by a company called Crystal Pond. Uh, its max height is 2.6 feet, so it's as high as the water can go. So I'm kind of pushing the envelope there with that, but as you can see here on the top, I've got my pump. The hole was already placed um, before I actually put the cord through, and I've got some silicone on there just to kind of hold it in place um, so that my ring here can fit right around this, um, just like that. So that's, that's the plan. I've ran it through here. This is hollow. This is hollow. I had to drill a hole here and it was between that and making a notch out of the bottom so the cord could run out of the bottom. I didn't want to mess with the integrity of the bottom. It's pretty thick because I wanted it to be really strong. Um, but unfortunately, in order to run it through those really small holes, you have to actually cut the power cord off. So um, again, you have to cut it off toss that to the side. I'm also gonna go ahead and opt with putting a 10 foot cord on there, just so I can make my fountain more accept, more uh, able to put it in different spots a lot easier if I have a longer cord and I don't have to mess with an extension cord. So um, this is a little bit larger gauge wire, but it's kind of all they had. The other thing I'm using, these are called butt splices. My kids laugh every time I say that. Um, but the butt splices look like this. Hold that there you go. And uh, the packaging is kind of like so. So uh, yeah, I've got some, my, my silicone's already done. This is the clear tube that's gonna come off the, the pump and go up the uh, fountain itself. So here we go. There's no holes for the water to go back into the reservoir where the pump is. But once I kind of tilted it a little bit and got the water actually flowing and moving, then it, I see a lot of bubbles down here. So it's drawing water just fine. It's coming out the top, percolating nice. Um, one of the reasons why I don't have spouts on here to drip down is because I wanted this to be mostly for bees. So. With the terracotta, the bees can land anywhere on this thing and be able to drink. So between the bees and the hummingbirds, I want them to be able to drink the most. So oh, this hope is... you guys enjoyed the video. Got my little helper here. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to be making a whole bunch of these. So um, keep on spinning. This is, um, this, is... Uh -huh. this is like the shortest end, so the bees will probably land over there the most. Like, um, uh, things that can't really touch deepest things will probably land here because uh, they're small and they can't really land on the big areas or else they'll drown, so.
Thank you.